What's going on, everybody? Or Cats and Chicks, or the D Squad? You know it is the Amanda Greaser. And well, I finally made it to the Arizona Rocket Daily Bash, the second year. Don't get don't get mixed up for the first year, but this is the second year. And I actually got have a better camera, aka my phone. So if my mic sounds shitty, well, fair warning, I don't have a mic thing on me. The thing didn't come in the mail on time. So yeah, this is a first day. The first day out of two days. Uh, I do recognize a few people that were here last year, so excited to talk to them, hang out with them, hang out with you guys, come by, say hi, and yeah, if, if we get to meet each other, maybe maybe we'll film. So yeah, but already it's getting like that's what people said last year. It gets bigger and bigger every year, and boy, boy do I know, it, it's already getting big. So yeah, so I'll catch you guys in a sec, and yeah, let's party on today. Woo! Yeah, no, guys, I really like like coming to the show. This is my second year coming, and I'm just kind of walking around seeing all the different vendors. Very impressive. <laughs> it's definitely got a lot bigger since last year. So yeah, uh, definitely, again, just recognize some few people that were here last year, they recognize me. So it's really cool seeing people again. And yeah, uh, really, really, really cool merchandise tables, like a lot, a lot more than last year. So it's, so it's kind of cool though too. Yeah. And oh, and by the way, the cigar I'm smoking is a, is a cigar from Pledge. Very good cigar. It's very rich in flavor. Definitely got some red, that, that like black peppery taste to it and it's very good. A couple of pinups. So. <laughs> but it's so good. Yeah, before I came, came to the show, I just, just kind of hung out with my good buddy Tim from Cigars Daily. So go check check their place out and, or check his place out really and yeah so yeah again come come say hi I don't bite unless you really piss me off but hey so yeah so it's gonna be really fun so, yeah. yep already got a lot of a lot of pinups attention <laughs> uh, I have to take off the glasses or kind of well I was taking a photo shoot but yeah <laughs> It was kind of kind of bugging my eye a little bit. Well, hey, I got my fucking PBR, so I'm kind of happy there. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, and this guy, want, oh yeah, this guy up here just kind of wants me to take a shoot with them. But I'm a small YouTube channel, but it's still so flattering. Like people come up to me saying, "Yeah, you should, you should get out, get us in the video." You know, it's like I'm like, okay, you know, it may not get any views, but hey. I'm so flattered. I'll do it anytime. So yeah. Again, if you guys are coming, just again, just come up and say hi. I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a friendly guy, kinda. But uh, yeah, no, I, I don't bite. So yeah, yeah. Just never, never be afraid to go up to anybody to say hi. Like if they're like one of your favorite influencers, what do you, whatever you call them, your favorite celebrity. But hey, but hey, yeah, just. Yeah, just come say hi to me. I'm just an ordinary guy. You know, I, I, I breathe the same air. I, 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 I have blood in me, and yeah. So yeah, that's got awkward and weird. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys gotta check out this, this guy from. Yeah, this guy just converted this old school bus. And it's, it's fucking badass. So yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too fucking cool. <laughs> and that's what I said last year. I just said, Too fucking cool. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I mean, it's a great show. I mean, like, it's I mean, a lot of great people out here. And yeah, this is kind of going to become my yearly tradition. Sorry if you can't hear me because of all the music. I don't have a good mic, so. But yeah, you know, it's a, it's a great show. So yeah, so you guys come out here next year. And yeah, we'll definitely hang, get a drink, and probably get a cigar in too. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, go get your merch as well. I mean, I'm posting them on my on my Instagram, so make sure you buy your merch. It ain't that? I mean. Come on, your, your boy has to eat too, and also has to make some kind of profit on, on this YouTube channel. So yeah.
better check out my merch as well. That's right. Thank you so much. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, guys, you know, just come up to the show, say hi to anybody. They're, they're real friendly people. I mean, when you run into the Rockabilly guys, you know, like myself and a couple other guys, especially on Instagram as well. I mean, if you just talk to us, you know, we're, we're, we're very, it's a very friendly community. You know, you know, no one's like degrading anybody. And hey, we'll, we'll, we'll still bust some chops, but but no, I mean, it's, it's a really, really friendly community. I've, I've been, I've been enjoying it since I was probably, probably since I was like, like early in high school. And yeah, and just like coming to the shows, it's always, it's, it's always been an adventure and always been a blast when we're coming to the shows. And especially going, going from last year and also seeing Brian sets here just a few, few weeks ago. But yeah, but hey, also come, come say, just hang out with me out here. If you guys are coming, well, if, you, if you are here, come hang out with me, guys. And also, like when I go to Viva, I better see a lot of you guys there because it's a big fucking show. So I, I better see a lot of you. So yeah, and yeah, just just catch around on this video. It's gonna be a little bit long than usual, uh, but I'm just gonna vlog a little bit and do the same thing tomorrow. And this is just D-Man signing off. And make sure you guys just stay positive, stay strong, have a good cigar, and also have a good beer. All right, it, it don't hurt, and have fun, have fun jamming out today. Dig it. Again, and we got one of the old pinups right here. Can I get your name? Vixen Von Raven. Alrighty, cool. And how long have you been doing pin up for? Um, pin up here in Arizona, I've been doing about five years. I started actually in California, no so kidding. in total, I would say about a good 10 years. You hear that, guys? She's an old timer, and that's a good thing, though, too. Yes, we need I'm, more seasoned. Women like this. I'm seasoned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, actually, here in Arizona, I am from Tucson, Arizona, and I Actually run AZ Car Show Base. So oh. not only am I affiliated with uh, car clubs out in Tucson, okay. but I also host events similar to this and doing the same thing with the pinups. So where where are you, where are you at in Tucson? Because I live in Tucson as well. Really? Yeah. I'm actually next to Tucson Mall. Oh okay. I'm I'm at, I'm at North Hill side. So yeah, you're on the back side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I host both events in Marana, some in Tucson, and then in Aurora Valley. Oh nice, nice. Yeah. No, that's kind of my usual hangout spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. On social media. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, just my, my channel is Dean and the Greaser. And, yeah. I already am your friend online. Oh, you are? Yes. Cool. How did I not know that? Look at me. Right? Oh, my goodness. That's what happens when you have a platform, you know? I get Look. so big, you just, it's hard. Everyone looks the same. Oh, I know. I know. It's like, I, I like, probably 10 people just come up to me and say, hey, I know you. I'm like, I'm like, man, that's flattering for, for a guy's small channel. No, no, I, I agree. I understand completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, what got you into pin up in? We so, got to see the whole culture. So what got me into pinup was actually not so much pinup, it was actually the rockabilly life. Yeah. Uh, and I kind of swinged more into the gothabilly because I'm more the spooky type of guy. Yep, I could tell. <laughs> so it's not just the, the vintage style look. I like being able to take not just this lifestyle and the furniture because my, yeah, yeah. my house is like really spooky and it's most of the stuff I have is vintage. Yeah, yeah. And I just put my own spin on it. So I nice. think what really got me into it was the dancing. Uh, the culture just being so out, yeah, going, yeah. having fun, yeah, uh, so that's I like it too. And I just love the lifestyle in general. I can't, I cannot go somewhere without losing my mind over something. It's vintage. Yeah, yeah. So for me, what it, what got me into it, and I, I talked about this on my channel, was you know I was just like I was just a young buck in high school or middle school. No, actually, when I was a little kid, and I just always loved like the fifties, like fifties music, movies, whatever. And I just associate like the cool guys being like the guys with leather jackets, greased oh, yeah. up hair. And you know, I watched like I think Rebel Rebel got a cause for the first time. I was, Ooh. I was probably an eighth grader or a ninth grader in high school or something like that. And I'm just like, you know, I want to get into that. Understandable. 
and, and here I am today. That's awesome. My yeah. my grandfather D. He no was he was a he was a hardcore greaser to the day he passed away yep. with the pomade in his hair, the the button down uh, Pendleton with the pearl pearl buttons. I mean the greaser motor boots, and he worked and ranched on cars. I think until probably. Probably until he couldn't really bend down and get on the ground no yeah. more. So he did that the majority of his life. So that that was kind of what I was raised by. So I think that's yeah. one reason why I kind of transitioned it because yeah. I had to. I had that lifestyle already, you know, see, emulate. See, my dad's dad, my grandfather. He he was never a greaser, but he did a lot of car engineering and all that stuff cool. when he when he was like when he was like my age or so. Oh, and then my other grandfather, he was a farmer. So I kind of got into yeah. Yeah, well, uh, it all just kind of blends in and falls yeah. into place. That's but, awesome. But for me, I just kind of found my way into the uh, like the soul culture, and I was like, I love it. It's like very laid back. That's, that's kind of like that kind of hooked me onto it. That's why I like cigars. Well, as welcome well. to the family. We're yeah. so glad. As young as they come, we want you guys all here. Yeah. Well, thank you for interviewing. No, no, thank you so much. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna give a squeeze. Thank you, bud. Anytime. Yeah.
Actually, no, it's more of the Flash. Hey, what's going on, D Squad or Cats and Chicks out there? Whoever, whoever the hell is out there, you know it is. D Man the Greaser, and we're starting off with this a banger. You know, we're at day two at the Arizona Rocket Billy Bash 2024. And you know, for, for cigar number one for today, it's actually a good one. Smoking a good Warfighter. It's a veteran owned, veteran owned brand and very good cigar. Very good, very good flavor to it. So, so what are we guys doing today? Oh yeah, we're gonna go see a couple other bands. Look at cars. Maybe hit up with some pinups. So, I, I got I got some of the attention from a few pinups from yesterday. So. Yeah, we're gonna have a pretty good day, and who knows what what the fuck happens here so, from here. So yeah, I just got my stuff right right over here, just trying to get in a good good spot where you guys can hear me. Because again, I don't have a good microphone. I'm just using the microphone off my phone. But yeah, check this. So we're starting out pretty good. No, it's even bigger from last year, from the start. So it's gonna get it's gonna get hella bigger this year. So all right, I'll, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. guys last year.
we'll take it. A few more PBRs, I think you guys can do a little better. All right, so let's get started. First, we have our lovely Miss Number One, Hell Betty. I mean, she's just rocking it. I love all of her cards. Check her out, guys. Do it again. Do it again. There you go. Hey. All right, let's let her have her introduce herself. Good morning, B. Sorry, I'm the worst at this. Good morning, Rock Rockabilly Bash. Are you ready for some fun today? Well, the odds are in your favor because the devil has sent his very own lady luck. My name is Hell Betty. I'm an addiction treatment nurse from New River, Arizona. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back over here, and Hi, I'm yeah, go both for it. If you guys are here, if you ain't here, I'm gonna be very disappointed. And she'll be a bit disappointed too. Yeah. GTFO. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh yeah. How's it going? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Just purchased a moonshine just now. Oh, shit. Look, I got my own liquor store. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Take a look. Yeah. All the girls are thinking about what they're taking later. See, I, I just said the uh, Alvaretto. I like that Alvaretto. Yep. Yep. I just, I just went with Godfathers, so that's it. <laughs> that's my favorite. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, hey, maybe we can do an interview once we're done here, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm here, I'm here all night, so. Perfect. I'll see you in my gown. Yeah, of course. See, guys, a little bit of confidence, so I go through a long way. Two pinups, and yeah. Just be, just be confident, guys, and yeah, they can show you a long way. So, yeah. So, where do I want to vlog today? Uh, yeah, like I said, I just purchased some moonshine from this old guy. Actually, he's right here. Yeah, this guy right here. Yeah, this is like cigar number five, smoking a Bergone. Very good cigar, very tasty, really good flavor notes. And actually, it does go well with the moonshine, if you're asking me. I'm just kind of just walking around with the camera, it's like, hey, what's going on? Oh yeah, I did have a little bit of moonshine, and, and it was, and it is fantastic. You know, I may pick up a shirt before I leave, so one less thing carrying on. So. Well, I just had some lunch earlier and had a little bit of Mexican food with a cigar and also with a beer. So yeah, again, come come say hi. I mean, I, I met a lot of you guys out here and it's fantastic seeing you, all of you, all of you cats out here. And it's, it's great, great being here today and yesterday as well. So yeah, so stay tuned. I don't think I need it though. Folks, this is one we wrote on the new record too. This is about remembering someone that you've lost, remembering all the good times. This is called Takes Me Back. Alright, you guys ready? 
Two arms, she could take both. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are making this hard. All right, so we got number three back to the stage, Marilla May. Check out this outfit. <laughs> All right, it's another hard one. Built for comfort or built for speed? I can definitely tell you these shoes are not built for comfort, but they're cool. There's that. Um, comfort or speed? When I got that question, it was kind of a tough question. Am I built for comfort or speed? But as I researched it, usually um, the smaller vehicles are built for speed, so there's not a whole lot of room in there. And the bigger vehicles, the one that has more seats and stuff, is meant for comfort, for there to be more people of like a gathering and stuff to make you know, good times and to slow down and be on the road and just make a uh, memory. Hey, I'm out here with the Arizona Rocky Billy Bash. What's your name? I'm Mella Michaels. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, what got you into the bin up there? So, I actually love fidget clothing because I'm actually a seamstress. Oh, yeah? So, I started sewing yeah. and then I discovered the cars and the dancing and it's just awesome. Oh, yeah. So, I love coming out to events like this. It's really yeah. Cool. So this is actually like my first time competing in a pinup. Nice. Competition, so I'm super excited. But they had dancing earlier. Yep. Such a blast. Oh yeah, I saw you shaking your tail off out there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hey, we had to get a dance on time, you know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But you know, we'll have to have to be careful with this because you know we're trying to get trip. Yeah. Absolutely. So it was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Anytime. So I'm with here with a beautiful Chantilly. And she is one of the MCs here at the Arizona Rock Billy Bash, and you know, let's do a little interview, shall we? Right. So, what got you into the whole pin up thing? What got you into this whole self culture? Honestly, I've been into it since I was a little girl. Oh, yeah? My grandma, my mom, my aunt. Um, I look back at my old photos, I always take yeah, yeah. towards like the princess dresses, love yep. the old movies. Honestly, I'm not into anything modern. Yeah. So, I just love the old movies. See that? Uh, first car show I actually ever got to go to that was the actual Rock Billy show. No kidding. I was sold. Yeah. Like, I was totally sold. Like the cars, the girls, the music. And then you get like, yeah. like the badness of it. So exactly. Like, you know, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of the, the rebellious yeah. style, you know? Yeah, it's, it's rebellious, that's what I can say. Yeah. And see, for me, it, it, see, oh yeah, exactly. You know, what got what got me hooked onto it was like just listening to all the old music, like from like Buddy Holly, Elvis Presley, you name it. And you know, I just kind of fell in love with it. And, and you know, I just kinda of just just did my own research about it, watched like old movies from like Rebel Without a Cause. Oh, and I was like, I just snapped my fingers. I've never watched Rebel for the first time. I'm like, that's the star I want to get to. That's why I want to get to these. And you know, exactly. And and you know, my, my dad and I, we, we love going to car shows. You know, that's just been our thing, you know, and that's what that's what he and, and my grandfather used to do too. So it's just kind of been a. Like even driving, I remember my dad being like, switch seven packers. Yep. That's it. So even yep. now, I can be like, yep. I'm supposed to be like, how do you know that? Yeah, exactly. I love it all. Yeah, yeah. 
so you know, since we're into the, the Madden world and hipsters, whatever, yeah. so do you get anybody looking at you, like, you know, judging you, saying, oh, you know, you should dress more like us, blah, 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 blah. I've never had him say that. I definitely got the weird looks. Yep. I did have a gal the other week tell me I was great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, which I, I'm like, I don't know how to take that. I, it's uncomfortable. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've had people, oh, you're so 70s. Yeah. That one gets me. Yeah. Um, See, for me. The 80s, I kind of get, but it's still yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay. But I, you know, grew up 80s. So yeah, yeah. when 80s did 50s, like, I get, again, why I tend to towards yeah. it. Like, yeah. The style is just See, awesome. See, for me, I've been doing it since I was like 15 in high school, doing the whole style, whatever. And, you know, I get a lot of looks from, like, especially from the popular crowd. Oh, yeah. Whatever. They're like, you should dress more like yeah, this, yeah, this, this girl that. Like, what's wrong with so, you? So I just, I just kind of flip them off a little bit, just like, just like. So saying, they don't realize it's after high school, you're going to be the one that's happy and exactly. doing what you want to do when they're still stuck in that still, like, stupid and, shit. Yep, and I just tell them, like, I just tell my viewers to say, you know, it's just self-confidence, man. It's yeah. like, gets you a long way. Like, just and, because you know, somebody else is into it, if you like it, just embrace it. Yeah, like, yeah. You'll find other people that like it. Exactly. And, and it was funny though too. So in high school, I was known as the guitar guy because I would like carry two guitars with me with like for, for two guitar classes. And you know, I play rockabilly, blues, jazz, you name it. And every every passing period, I kid you not, I would I'd play guitar like out in front, like especially the popular crowd, get all the attention from the ladies, so too. So I guess a lot of people got jealous from that, but but you well, know, it, I mean, it still hasn't died down. Girls don't know it. They're like, why am I attracted to that? And then they yeah. know, oh, I, I remember doing C movies. Like some, there's something very classic about maybe yeah. they do the rockabilly priester look, and yep. then like the full vintage, like just the fact that you're dressing. Or just like just like the way like, you act. Not you know? just it's putting like on like a show. A pair of sweatpants. And exactly. And a baby and thinking it's okay to go out the house. Now. Exactly. But yeah. Yeah, presentation. But hey, fun. thank you for the interview. You're very welcome. Yeah. Yeah. So you met this guy last year, hopefully you see him next year. No, this I, I, I keep telling everybody it's going to be a, a yearly tradition of mine. Awesome, so. I love it. And you know, I live up... You guys should come out too, it's an awesome show. It, it, I, 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 oh, oh, got blurry a little bit. Okay. I got light changed. Oh, I know. Anyway, even though you can't see it in my face, but uh, I'm going to Viva for the first time, but this is this is a very go-to if you can't make it to Viva. Oh so, yeah. Well, thank you, for, thank you very much. Yeah. Bye. 